¿Cómo está mi gente? Yo soy tu amigo Zay Zay. Welcome to another banging interview. Today I am hanging out and talking with the stars and of course the illustrious director of a new movie called Una Noche, an independent film, a Spike Lee joint also, if you will, but incredible because what happened was these guys brought it to the States, they took it to uh, Tribeca and they swept up. I'm hanging out with, of course, Lucy Malloy, the wonderful director, and just because I want to get all the names, eh, Anailin de la Rua de la Torre, right? Yes. Ah, got it. <laughs> y, of course, Javier Núñez Florian. Yeah. ¿Verdad? Yeah. ¿Así es? ¿Cómo están? Bien. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. ¿Todo bien? Todo no, bien, todo bien. Man, a mí me encantó esta película. La vi ayer. Qué buena. <laughs> Para lo que no lo han visto todavía, for those that haven't watched it yet, tell us a little bit about the movie. I'm going to tell you in English. Sorry. Yeah, tell me in English. Tell me okay. in English, whatever you want to do. Um, it's a story about three kids uh -huh. who are in Havana, and on this particular day, they have to get out of Havana because the police are after the main character who's accused of a crime that he didn't commit. My man, Raul. And so his best friend over here. My man, Elio. Oh, Elio. <laughs> You're alive, Elio. Elio. Okay. <laughs> his best friend helps him, and they are brother and sister in the movie. Uh -huh. They're twins in the movie. Right. So. It's about, it's about the relationships between the three of them, basically, sure. and how they kind of change each other and interact with one another. Sure, sure, sure. Now, was shooting this movie in Cuba essential? Like, I mean, of course, you could have done this on a back lot somewhere and whatever and said, yeah. okay, we're in Cuba. But was it just better to do it there? We couldn't actually have done it on a back lot. We could have only done this movie in Cuba, really, because there were so many things that we, that we incorporated into it that were kind of happening in the streets around us sure, that were sure. kind of spontaneous. Okay. And yeah. all of that fed into the story and we kind of just used that as a tapestry to make the movie. So if we went to Puerto Rico or Mexico right. or somewhere else, it wouldn't have been the same because Havana really is a character in the movie. Yeah. So that was important. Ustedes, que son ya nuevos al mundo como actores y, y en su primera película, ¿qué tal la experiencia de, de estar en una película así? Fascinante, una experiencia grande, de no haber nunca haber hecho una película. Y la película, ver, ahora está cogiendo tantos premios, yeah. que, esté, que esté avanzando. Yeah. Y felicidades en tu premio de Muchas gracias. Y súper emocionado, feliz, por la, peli, la, por la película esté cada día más gustando. Yeah, 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 gusta yeah, yeah. Mundo. <risa> bueno, yo estoy súper contenta. Todavía ni me lo creo de que, que, hay, que estuviera aquí, ¿me entiendes?, haciendo una película. Siempre me ha gustado la actuación, pero nunca había hecho nada y gracias a Dios... Hice esta película y, y ha salido todo bien y súper contenta. ¿Y cómo llegaron ustedes a conocer de la película? A saber que, que Lucy estaba en, en Cuba filmando o oh, que quería hacer una película. Fueron productor, ¿Cómo se involucraron? Productores que fueron por, por lugares, casa de la playa, playas, escuelas. Y por ejemplo, a mí me, me cogieron en la escuela, ella la cogieron en, su, su, en una, un campismo creo, ¿no? Y así fueron, así fueron cogiendo así, el casting que fueron haciendo y haciendo las pruebas y hasta lograr ya que. Eh, We went everywhere. We went everywhere really? where you could find teenagers, basically. <clears throat> to really? concerts, to parties, to just cinemas. We, and we were giving out flyers. So then everybody came to this theater uh, on the weekends. And we would have lines of people down the whole street waiting. Oh and gosh. I would do like a little improvisation <laughs> and see who was talented and Got who, it. you know. And then, of course, it. you found your stars. And they and stood out. They were amazing. So was Dariel, who's not here right now. Dariel, that's right. They're just, that's right. Yeah, Dariel, nice. we love you, man, wherever you are. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, y ya entiendo que ustedes son pareja. Y felicidades, que entiendo que también está embarazada. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Felicidades. Um, ¿Ustedes se, se unieron en la película o ya eran pareja antes de...? No, todos nos conocimos en la película y fue donde, oh, okay. donde nos hicimos nos pareja. Ah. Dos años después de, de que estamos en la película, dos años y después fuimos novios. Oh, wow. Okay, so this took two years to make? They hooked up once we started shooting. Because I, I, I had been telling them don't get together because your brother and sister claro, the claro. whole time. I right. was like, do not do that. And yet. And then when they started shooting, I was like, oh, Love, it, love is do? love. Love is love. It's going to be that. All right. I'm going to follow it. But all of you guys, if you can, look into the camera 
and in 10 seconds, 15 seconds if you want, eh, sell me this movie, Men, vendeme la película, why do I need to go see Una Noche? You would have never seen Cuba like this before. We are showing you the reality of, of the place and relationships and people, and there's a lot of energy in the movie. It's a little bit of action, a little bit of drama. There's something for everyone. So I really hope that you enjoy it and that you can come and watch it. Thank you. In La Habana, dicen que cuando llegas al fin puedes esconderte o hacer valer tus últimos momentos. Y yo solo quiero salvar.